he heard a strange noise. I just hope it's not too late. There was once a street food vendor named Jack who sold the most delicious tacos in all of the city. He had a small cart that he pushed around the streets, and he always had a smile on his face as he greeted his customers. But there was one thing that made Juan's taco so special, and that was his secret ingredient, a special sauce that he made himself. One night, as Jack was closing up shop, he heard a strange noise coming from the alleyway beside his car. Curious, he decided to investigate. As he peered into the darkness, he saw a pair of glowing yellow eyes staring back at him. Suddenly, a giant cartoon cat lunged at him, its razor-sharp claws glinting in the moonlight. I swear to you, there's a monster cat out there. It almost killed me. Come on now, Jack. You've been working late hours. It's easy to get spooked in the dark. There's no such thing as a monster cat. I'm telling you, it was real. It had glowing yellow eyes and razor-sharp claws. I barely escaped with my life. I'll make a note of it, but I don't think there's anything we can do. Just make sure to be careful when you're working late at night. Jack couldn't shake off the feeling of unease that had settled in his stomach ever since that night in the alleyway. He tried to tell himself that it was just his imagination playing tricks on him. But deep down, he knew that there was something out there, something dangerous. He started to notice strange occurrences happening around his car. Sometimes, he would hear scratching sounds coming from the shadows, and other times, he would catch a glimpse of yellow eyes watching him from the darkness. He knew that it was the monster cat, and it was getting bolder with each passing day. Jack's customers also started to notice that something was off. They would often look over their shoulders and glance nervously into the shadows, as if they too could sense the presence of the monster cat. Business started to slow down, as people became too scared to venture out at night. As the news of the monster cat's attack spread throughout the city, people began to live in fear. They avoided going out at night, and some even moved out of the city entirely. The streets were empty, and businesses began to suffer. The victims of the cartoon cat's attacks were left with deep scars, both physical and emotional. It seemed like nothing could stop it. They would often wake up in the middle of the night screaming, <coughs> reliving the terror of their encounter with the creature. And some even developed a phobia of cats. The city's authorities tried to downplay the situation, insisting that it was just a wild animal that had wandered into the city. But the people knew better. They had seen the monster cat with their own eyes, and they knew that it was something far more sinister. Jack walked through the city, his heart heavy with sadness, as he saw the grief and pain etched on the faces of the people. He stopped to talk to some of the victims' families, who shared their stories of loss and heartbreak with him. My son was only 22 years old, just starting his life. He was a kind and loving boy, always thinking of others. He didn't deserve to die like this. I'm so sorry for your loss. I wish I could have done something to save him. You're not to blame, Jack, but you have to do something to stop this monster before it takes any more innocent lives. I promise you, I will do everything in my power to put an end to this monster's reign of terror. I believe you, Jack. I just hope it's not too late. Jack knew that he had to do something before the cartoon cat claimed its next victim. He began to research the creature, scouring through old books and speaking to the city's oldest residents. He soon discovered that the giant cartoon cat was a legendary creature that had been terrorizing the city for centuries. It was said to be immune to all forms of weapons and that it had a taste for human flesh. He talked to the other survivors and listened to their stories. They told him about the monster's strength and ferocity and how it had seemed almost invincible. But Jack refused to believe that there was no way to defeat it. He was determined to find a weakness, some way to outsmart the monster. We have to think outside the box. There has to be a way to catch this monster and end its attacks for good. I don't know, Jack. 
It seemed like nothing could stop it. It was like it was invincible. No creature is invincible. We just have to find its weakness and exploit it. Jack became obsessed with finding a way to stop the monster cat. He spent every waking moment studying the creature, trying to find its weaknesses. He even began to experiment with different types of traps, but nothing seemed to work. I won't stop until the monster cat is defeated and the city is safe once again. He spent the next few weeks researching the creature and learning everything he could about it. He discovered that the monster cat was attracted to certain scents, and he came up with a plan. He prepared a trap using his special sauce, which he knew the monster cat would find irresistible. The night of the trap, Jack set his plan into motion. He baited the trap with the special sauce and waited. As the night wore on, Jack grew more and more anxious, but he knew that he had to be patient. Finally, just as the first light of dawn was creeping over the horizon, he heard a rustling in the bushes. The monster cat emerged, its nose twitching as it caught the scent of the special sauce. Without hesitation, it lunged towards the trap. But just as it was about to take the bait, Jack saw the creature's yellow eyes widen in surprise as it was caught in the trap. I've got you. The monster cat let out a deafening roar as it struggled to break free from the trap. Jack knew he had to act fast. He smeared the special sauce all over the monster cat's face, watching as the creature's eyes grew cloudy and confused. The monster cat let out a blood-curdling scream as it was consumed by hallucinations. It thrashed wildly, and for a moment, Jack thought that his plan had failed. But then, just as suddenly as it had appeared, the monster cat ran off into the night, never to be seen again. 